Welcome back to Games Revealed. I'm James Nelson-Brink, and we are one. So today I want to talk about just seven features that I would like Valve to add to the Steam Deck. And honestly, there's already so many features packed into this thing. I love it, but there can always be more. And to be honest, if they want to call themselves a console, which I don't know if that's what Valve's necessarily trying to do, but I would consider this as close to a console as you're going to get using the Steam library. It just is missing a few things. So make sure to uh, stay for the whole list because some of these are interesting. Some of these are, you know, pretty plain and I think most people want them. So let's get into it. But before we do that, make sure to like, subscribe, bash that bell with your crowbar. Now, first up, I want to see auto mounting. And this, <laughs> this uh, you know, a week or two ago, if you watch my videos regularly, I ran into an issue where I... <clears throat> In desktop mode, you can add multiple storage items, uh, such uh, options essentially, through like USB or, uh, yeah, USB, through a thumbstick, SD card, um, NVMe, whatever it is, you can do that in desktop mode. Um, you can mount as many devices as you want. In game mode, you do not have that ability. You can't just stick, um, let's say... A thumb drive into the top and be able to access games off of that or um, stick my my large hard drive into it through the USB-C slot I can't do that it doesn't have auto mounting or even the ability to ask to mount and all that's re all I really want I just want my device when I plug my storage in is to ask to hey would you like to mount this or not right now it just doesn't do it there's ways around it but I found that they're kind of convoluted. I don't really like them. So I just like, I mean, I don't think it would be a really hard ask from them. And maybe it will come soon. This is definitely on the, like, the items on my list. This will probably be the, the one that happens the soonest. But I want to see them add auto mounting or at least mounting options so that we can have more storage. And the reason I say that is because for me personally, I want to test things. And I can't test them too easily. So there. Okay, next item is I want user extensions, a place for scripts to be uploaded and shared. And I say that because I've done a lot of different um, things with my device uh, that needs needed extra extending through the desktop, um, whether that be emulators, which uses a script, by the way. Essentially, you just download a script from the internet and then you run it and it, it will grab stuff from the flat pack. Uh, store through Discover, and it it, it, just, it does a bunch of different things for you behind the scenes, which I don't think would be unreasonable to have it run in game mode. I don't know. Maybe there's some additional um, pieces missing in game mode. I don't know. But that's what I want to see, and at least see the effort to be able to have scripts for setting up uh, those types of things. Uh, you know, <laughs> there, there's a lot. Even scripts to set up the... Edge browser, Microsoft Edge browser to run the Xbox Cloud Gaming service just to have it all set up. So, because I have a walkthrough for it, but it'd be nice to just have it auto run. And they don't even have to, these extensions could be obviously uh, maintained by them or at least reviewed, but I don't need it to be super extensive, just some niceties that most people I think are going to run into in the desktop mode, which to be honest, I'm just becoming less and less in, enthralled in the desktop mode. I, 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 I want to play my games and I want to install my stuff to play my games with this device. That being said, I mean, it's still, I, the desktop mode isn't bad. When I plug it into a keyboard mouse and my monitor, that's where I enjoy it. I just don't tend to do that as often. Okay. So with that, I would also like flat pack built into the game mode. So I want the ability to, uh, you know, essentially it'd be like an app store. And in fact, this would be a this is a great analogy of it um, is to essentially have them ship game mode, Steam OS game mode, with maybe when you hit the Steam button, it's one of the items in the left that will say, "Hey, App Store or Discover or whatever it is," to where I can go in, and they could even do their own stores. It's Flatpak's, you know, a repository, so they could go and filter out what's best on the Steam. And in fact, maybe I'll do this, and I'll comment that on this at the end of the video, but. Essentially, I'd like to see something like an app store where I can install additional pieces. This is very close to the extension piece, right? But uh, I just I would like to see 
some more extensibility. They definitely can because it is a PC. Um, next up, I want to see um, them open up a little bit more with like some, <laughs> once again, extendability. I would like to see like a library or something like that where I can ex like as a programmer go in and um, do some extensions on the game mode itself in the sense of like not scripts more or less, but in a different turn. Like if I want to modify the way the way the menu's laid out or um, essentially like that side left menu, maybe add more pieces to that. Once again, adding f the flat pack or discover. Doing a library to be able to at least give some control over this and be able to make it so I can make my own version to where all you have to do is go into, um, into desktop mode and be able to uh, download this uh, extended um, uh, library or whatever. Essentially, I just want some extensions. I just want like... For me, like people in the development community could go and extend it ourselves and then ship those extensions out in scripts that you can install real quick. Um, you can tell if there's kind of a theme, right? I want extensibility. Now, let's slap that out of the way. The extensibility stuff is for the most part done. I want, I mean, I'm going to, all this is obviously like features. So it's extending the, the you know, the, what the device could do with that. I want the the feature, the ability to be able to play on my PC and my deck at the same time. There's some games I have loading, like let's say Seven Days to Die, or some other game where sometimes I have about 10 minutes to just wait for something to happen. I wouldn't mind being able to load up my game that I'm playing on my deck and be able to play it, but it will kill one or the other. It doesn't let you play two games at once. I get it. I just, I think there would be a way to do it with the deck if they could um i i think there's abilities to do. I, I think this is gonna be really hard to do if they want to also you know prevent people from being able to play you know let's say if i give my steam account out to a bunch of people that have steam decks i don't think that's gonna work um it's gonna be a lot of uh, pseudo theft in some ways i I, mean, I don't know if people are gonna like that term but i i get it i get it you know it's Steam is there to to, uh, to make money, but it would be nice to have a companion mode or something like that because I would like to be able to play um, some of my easy games that I pause and resume all the time on my deck while I'm waiting on my computer. It happens more often than not. Maybe I could actually ink out like 30, 40 minutes a day if I have like a three or four hour play session on my computer. Would love to see it. Also, um, some people in the Games Revealed uh, community on Discord have uh, have wanted this. Um, Cray and Desi, uh, shout outs to you guys. So, next up is the media section with audio and video player, and that's one of the things that I think I. And he, he, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I have not been able to find a decent way. I mean, I could a decent way that's built in. Um, there's no like audio player, or video player on the Steam store unless I'm. I think there is kind of one, but it's like six bucks. I don't want to really pay for it. Not when VLC is free. Um, so, and with, with VLC, it doesn't really let you access uh, certain things. I'm sure I could go in and, ex it and like script it better or whatever. But I'd like to see in that left menu, once again, a media option to where I can go and watch my videos and, and listen to my music and uh, maybe even extend Spotify in there some, too. You know, it'd be, it'd be, cool and once again if they had i know i'm getting into extensions again if they had the library like or some type of um way for developers to extend the game mode uh we could do it ourselves so with that uh <laughs> with the media section part i'd like to see picture in picture let's let's get super duper on the wish list side of things i would like to see picture in picture so i'm playing my games especially something that's super simple and i want to be able to just in the bottom right i know you i know I know it's not going to be very big, but uh, I do this on the uh, when I had an Android phone. I would do this on my uh, my iPhone. I like to scroll Reddit and watch something. It's more or less I listen to it, but watch it. And I you know the Doom scroll. Uh, there's some games that I've played lots, like Seven Days to Die. I wouldn't mind watching something while playing that at times. Sometimes it's just very laborious, like chopping down trees. I don't need to pay any attention to that really. I would rather just watch a YouTube video or listen to something. And I can, I mean, I have my phone. It's not the biggest deal. Just be cool if the deck could do it. Um, listening to music while playing games would be also fun. You know, uh, while I'm playing Hello Kitty Adventure, I could be listening to the Doom soundtrack, which is the perfect matchup, right? Um, that would be awesome. And Valve, you need to do that. 
Okay, my last item on the list is dual boot Windows and Steam OS out of the box. Allow for it. And what I'm asking for, which is something that they're working on, I believe, is just dual boot. I just want to be able to have Steam OS and then slap, a, um, and then, you know, do the boot menu, slap my Windows stick in there, and just off the bat be able to install Windows alongside uh, Steam OS. Now, there are ways to do this. Otherwise, like you can do dual booting, people have got it to work, but. I don't want to have to go through all that different hassles. I just want to be able to easily stick win Windows 11 in and just have it work. And by the way, Windows 11 works great on the deck. In my opinion, I like it. The drivers work great. But obviously, like, I still think it, the SteamOS is a better option, in my opinion, depending on what you want to play. But for most people, I think SteamOS is going to be the right option. Okay, so those are my list. That's my list. I love uh, what Valve has done with the Steam Deck. But... Like I mentioned, there's a couple of things that are just would be a little bit of niceties and put it into the community to be able to extend this thing and make it better. Because I do think the community is, you know, this is going to be a very big community. And with that, if you give them the right tools, you don't even have to do much. Most of the extensions, most of the feature sets could be created by the community. And I would love that. So with that, you could just, you could, it could be the workshop, the mod shop, whatever it is. But with that, I want to ask you a question real quick. Should I build a tool to help solve some of these issues? So um, I believe I could write a tool to download um, emulators, like essentially take that script that that person wrote, have it be built into the tool, and all you have to do is import, go into the desktop once, import it into uh, game mode, and be able to install it from there. I can't guarantee if it's going to work or not. Uh, I ha There's a lot of unknowns because I have not done Linux development much. I mean, I've developed websites and some games on on Linux, but never anything to actually uh, have to work with Linux itself in the sense of um, just some of the stuff I'd have to do. But I'm thinking about it. So would a tool be cool like that where you just have to go into the desktop once to install something? And maybe, maybe ha like, obviously you want to set up the password to it while you're there. Would that be interesting to you? To have something to where you can maybe just have to install one thing to help manage all the different extensibilities out there because there's a lot of stuff we can do. It just takes a little bit of work and it's a little bit of labor, especially when you have to, you know, let's say you reformat your hard drive, then you have to go through it all over again. So I there's definitely pain points to fix there. And partially this video was made because I am a developer. I see some of the things that are missing. Um, that's just kind of how I work. So I see problems, I wanna solve them, but uh, let's see if I have the time. I'm just curious if you're interested in a tool like that, uh, maybe if people are interested enough, I will do it. So thank you guys for watching. Leave that comment. Whatever you else you want to leave there, I'll read it. Thank you guys for watching. Check out my other videos, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. Later.